To balance this equation, nitric acid plus calcium hydroxide yields calcium nitrate plus water. I've written down the atoms that we find on each side of the equation. So let's figure out how many of each we have on each side. So hydrogens, I have one here, and then I have the one here times the two. So two times one, that's two. One plus two, I have three hydrogen atoms. Nitrogens, I just have the one. Oxygens, I have three plus the two times the one plus two. So I have five oxygens and I only have the one calcium. Over on the product side, I have two hydrogens. I have two times the one, two nitrogens. Oxygens, two times three, six there, plus this one, that equals seven oxygen atoms, and then just the one calcium. So it's kind of messy. I have a bunch of odd numbers. Let's see. Why don't I fix the nitrogens? I have two here and one here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the nitric acid, and then I need to update all of these atoms, the hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. So I have the one times the two, two plus, I have the two times the one here. I have two of them. That gives me four hydrogens. One times two, two nitrogens, and then oxygens, two times three is six, plus I have the two times the one here, two. That equals eight, and calcium stays the same. So I've Fix the nitrogens. I have even numbers here. That should make it a little easier. Over on this side, why don't we try to fix the hydrogens? We have four here and two here. So we could just put a two in front of the H2O and then update the H's and the O's. So now I have two times two, four hydrogens. Those are balanced. And then for oxygens, I have the two times the three, that's the six, plus the two times the one, that's two, and that gives me a total of eight oxygens. So the oxygens are also balanced, and we didn't change the calciums. So at this point, this equation is balanced. We have four hydrogens on each side, nitrogens two, oxygens eight on both sides, calciums are good, we're done. So that's the balanced equation for HNO3 plus CaOH2 yields CaNO32 plus H2O. The trick here, make sure you count up all of the hydrogens and all the oxygens when you're doing this. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.